6th of October, but it's icing or offside, pardon me, right off the bat. No score, two minutes, not three minutes. Well, one of the great fighters in the history of the game, Clark Gillies against Brad Berry. That one broke right off the face-off and they suspended play immediately as they go out at right at center. Clark Gillies doesn't usually fight much anymore. No, he hasn't had to because of the respect that he gained for all the years that he did throw them pretty good. Those two guys are about the same height, but I think Clark Gillies has got a little bit of weight on Bradbury and ended up on top of him. Well, Clark Gillies' incredible strength. And he goes to the penalty box along with Bradbury. I remember, Kurt, when I was coaching in Washington, we'd go into the island playing the great New York Islanders, and we'd always make sure we told the players, don't bump Clark Gillies around out there. Just let him sleep because you don't want to wake up any sleeping giant. And at times, Gillies had that ability not necessarily to be so consistent in the aggressive department. And he's the last guy you want to get riled up. I remember that uh, the Winnipeg Jets played a doubleheader, a home and home against the Islanders one time. And exactly what you were saying. Clark Gillies went up and down in the first period, hit every jet in sight. The next five periods, he didn't touch anybody. He scored a couple of goals and was outstanding. Right there. Okay. Oh, they're a little ahead of them. A little... Just prior to them, them fighting. Uh, the two players came together. Their sticks came up. They were both going to be uh, penalized, minor penalties for high sticking. At that time, 